In this video, I'll be showing you how to set up a project in Microsoft Project 2016. We will be looking at creating a new project, create a base calendar, set project information, create tasks, the task type and task dependencies, create a resource sheet and assign tasks to resources, add a resource rate change, insert the cost column, total and free slack columns, set the critical path and the total slack in the Gantt chart and save a baseline. So let's open a blank project. At the top we've got our file name. Now let's change the file name. Let's go to file, save as, choose a location. Now let's just add the project name. Learn Microsoft project 2016 right and we can see at the top the file name has changed at the bottom we've got our new task which is manual schedule we're going to change that to auto schedule so you can click in the manual schedule area and change it to auto schedule or you can go to file options schedule and you can change it to auto schedule and for all the tasks in the project we're going to change the task type to fixed duration and effort driven remains unticked now first of all let's create our base calendar let's go to project change work time click on create new calendar create a new calendar let's give it a name public holiday 2018 calendar let's click OK so then the 5th of February is going to be a holiday and the 30th of March is going to be a public holiday And the 2nd of April is going to be a public holiday. Now let's set the base calendar for the project. Click on the project tab. Project information. We set the project start date for the 29th of January. That's the project start date for the project. And our calendar. Let's choose public holidays. 2018 and say okay next let's show the project summary task again go to format click on project summary task and then you'll see the summary task or the project name at the top of the schedule now let's add our tasks project start that will be a milestone so the duration should be zero then we've got task a task a1 and task a2 both of them is going to be sub tasks under task a so let's highlight both of them and go to task indent task b it's our then task b and the subtasks under task b is task b1 and task b2 click on task b1 keep in control click on task b2 and let's indent then we're going to have task C our then task C and project finish that's also going to be a milestone so the duration should be zero now for task A1 the duration is going to be 10 days task A2 the duration is going to be 10 days 
task B1, the duration is 15 days. And task B2, the duration is 10 days. And for task C, the duration is going to be 20 days. Now you can see on the right hand side, the Gantt chart bars appear. Now the dependencies. Let's start from the top. The project starts. Task A1 starts first. So you can click on the bar. Then there's a finish to start dependency on between task A1 and A2. So let's just drag and drop. However, task A2 is going to be a lag of five days, meaning task A2 is going to start five days after A1 is completed. So let's double click on the arrow. And we've put a lag of five days. OK. So A2 is going to start five days after A1 is completed. Task B1 is going to start when the project starts. There's going to be a finish to start the relationship between B1 and B2. You can either drag the bars or you can go to your predecessor. Task B2 predecessor is B1 and you can type in the number for B1 that is 6, the ID number. So we can add 6 in there. And let's go to view. View entire project. We can see there's a finish to start the relationship. Now let's say our task B2 has got a lead of 5 days. Meaning that task B2 will start 5 days before B1 is finished. Let's click on the arrow. And we give it a lead of minus 5 days. Okay, so B2 is going to start five days before B1 is completed. And task C will also start at the beginning of the project. And now let's just close off our tasks. A2, to project finish. B2, to project finish. And task C. To project finish. So now we've built the project schedule from the project start to the project end with all the tasks having a dependency, a predecessor and a successor except for the project start and the project finish. Now let's create our resource sheet. Let's go to resource, team planner, let's click on resource sheet. We're going to have Sam. It's got a standard rate of 200 South African Rand. And the base calendar is going to be public holidays 2018. And our next resource is John. Standard rate for John is 300 South African Rand and our base calendar is public holidays and then we've got Mike we've got a standard rate of let's say 400 South African Rand and it's got a work type all three of them and then we've got bags of cement which will be a unit cost assigned to a task. So that's going to be the type is material. And it's going to be 200 South African Rand for a bag of cement. So now we've created our resource sheet. Now let's say Sam is going to have a rate change due to a salary increase which increases to 250 Rand from the 13th of February 2018. So let's double click on Sam. We can go to cost and then we can create an effect date, let's say from the 13th of February. Sam's standard rate is going to increase to 250 South African Rand.
and let's say OK. So now we've included the rate change for Sam. Now let's assign our tasks. Go back to the task tab. Click on Gantt chart. So now we open our Gantt chart. So first of all, I'm going to show you three options to assign your tasks to resources. First, let's click on the in the resource column in task A1 and we can assign Sam. And you can see Sam was assigned. If there's no percentage behind the name, it is 100%. See, we've assigned Sam 100% to the task. Let's assign John to task A2. John is assigned to task A2. Let's go to view entire project. So we can see John is assigned and also 100%. Now for task A, for task B1, let's click on the task tab and click on information. We can go to the resources and we can assign John to the task and let's make John 50%. So John is going to spend 50% on his time on that task. If a day is 8 hours, he will only spend 4 hours on that task. Let's go to B2, task information, resources, And now let's assign Sam to the task. And let's assign the bag of cement. And there's going to be 10 bags of cement. Okay. And then the third way to assign your task to resources, let's go to task C. You can click on the view tab. And then click on details. And we've got our task form opens up. That is our split screen. And let's click on the resource name. And we're going to assign Mike. 100%. And we're going to assign John. 50% of his time. All right. So we can untick the split screen. And you'll see Mike and John has been assigned. Mike 100% and John 50%. Now let's insert the cost column. So let's say we want to insert the cost column between finish and predecessor. Right click in the header column. Insert column. And you can type CO, it will, it will direct you down to the cost area. Let's choose cost. And there we've got our cost column inserted. Now to insert the total slack and free slack, you can right click again, insert column, type TO, choose total slack. And that's our total slack column, our total slack or float. It will show us which tasks has got float, I right click again, insert column, and let's put in our free slack, fr, let's put in free slack, so that's going to be our free slack column. Let's go view entire project. Let's go to the format tab, we can click on slack, then you'll see where your total slack is on the project. And we can also click on critical tasks. And you can see the critical path of the project. Now let's save the project as a baseline. Let's click on project. Set baseline. We're going to save it as a baseline. The entire project. Say OK. And save the project. If this video was helpful, please like it or view some of my other videos on my channel. See the link below for my channel or you can type in Peter Rademeyer in the YouTube search to search for my channel.